Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Anjit again. So today we are in the 8th question of the NEET PG 2021 discussion in pathology. So we'll go straight to the question. It's a simple straightforward one, right? Which so the following is increase in case of multiple myeloma with poor prognosis, right? So this multiple myeloma has been a very important topic over the past years. Let be when it was in AIMS, PGI Jimma types or in INISIT or in your NEET PG, right? The frequently repeated questions in myeloma was the cytogenetics. Generally, they used to ask a cytogenetic and say it's good prognosis or poor prognosis. Uh, that's how most of the time questions have been. And something related to cytogenetics is again the prognostication. Right? So in myeloma, diagnosis is one side where all the microscopy, pathogens, everything comes inside. And when it comes to prognosis, over the period of years, it has evolved not only for myeloma, for every lymphoma and leukemia. I am not going to follow some individualized prognostic system. We are going to follow your international prognostic system. ISS staging system is there for almost every lymphoma leukemias, including myeloma, right? Under ISS, there are only few parameters which myeloma as, uh, in myeloma the prognosis is based on. One is your cytogenetic, obviously. That's the most important one. That's why frequently the questions on cytogenetics comes again and again. The other parameters which are required in your prognostication is serum albumin, beta 2 microglobulin and LDH, right? So the only two things which are involved in the prognostication of a multiple myeloma in management is these two. These two are not at all important. Yes, renal failure is important, but to prognosticate the disease per se, I'm going to rely on these two. So whenever albumin reduces, which means globulin ratio is going to be more, more tumor load, I'm going to think of a bad prognosis, right? Albumin reduction. When it comes to serum beta to microglobin, more the beta to microglobin is, I'm going to say the prognostication of the multiple myeloma is going to behave aggressively, right? So increase in case of my multiple myeloma with poor prognosis is going to be a serum beta to microglobulin, right? So just we'll have a quick look on the cytogenetic profile and also your international staging system, right? This is your standard risk, intermediate risk and high risk cytogenetic profile. 11, 14 as a standard here is your good, intermediate and poor prognosis has been asked multiple times. Once 14, 16 was also asked. All of them, all of these are very, very important. Why it is important is whenever a patient comes with myeloma to a clinic, evaluated by a hemato-oncologist, the, uh, the person, he or she is definitely going to ask for this. When I'm going to look at microscopy, I will say it's multiple myeloma for sure. Because myeloma can be easily evaluated at any point of time. It has to be prognosticated. That's more important. That's the difference between a general physician treating it and a hemato-oncologist treating it. It has to be done for every case of multiple myeloma. I have to tell the patient before administering chemotherapy, see, this is where you belong. This is your normal survival as per the data we have you might do better or you might do worse right so these cytogenics are part and parcel of a day-to-day -day life in hematologist so when they know when a pathologist know when we are going to set questions this this is what it comes to me for me it's not a difficult one and right? so all of these are must right 11 14 6 14 standard risk hyper diploidy keep this as a standard criteria wherever you say hyper diploidy it's a good prognostic factor because hyperdiploidy are very, very unstable cells. So I give a little bit push by chemotherapy, the cell dies. So easy to kill a hyperdiploid cell, a better prognostic factor, right? And this also I can just uh, generalize. Deletion 17P means P53. Wherever P53 is lost, it's going to be a poor prognostic factor, fine? Right? So these are your uh, cytogenetic profile and multiple menor, very important. And your IPSS, your international prognostic staging system is based on this. Stage one, microglobin less than 3.5 albumin more than or equal to 3.5 right more albumin is going to be stage one in stage two it becomes lower when you come to stage three see i'm not even bothered about albumin albumin will be less only but still my major concentration is going to be on serum beta to microglobin right that's very very important more the beta to microglobin is more is more worse is the prognosis of multiple myeloma there's your ips st staging classification system we have three stages of multiple myeloma and based on each stage i can say okay this is the overall survival for this patient right very very important maybe if the exam is going to turn clinical the staging criteria and the up to date staging criteria what is used in the clinics is going to be asked in your exam i'm sure we, we are well equipped with that definitely you'll crack the exam it's not an uh, one-liner here it's an has an application so that one line it becomes clinically important and secure so fine thank you for your time you can download the n academy app for any free lectures if you want you can follow me at pathocups if you have any doubt regarding this question or any other recourse do comment in the below section and if and let's sort it out if there's any confusion we'll sort it out fine thank you for your time see you in one more question till then bye bye from dr anjit bye bye